Uh, hello everybody. Welcome to another Agatha Knife video. It's been a while since I've done uh, anything for that matter. I haven't really been streaming that much. Just because I've been a little bit busy. Um, I do need to stream more, but it's just a lot to do right now. I want to add to like some assets and other stuff to the to the stream and stuff but I really haven't been able to do much I feel like today I had the chance but then I got a little bit tired I decided to take a nap after a shower uh I think I'm able to actually print out the ticket now right since um Anika helped me make up one that looked uh, professionally I suppose with her computer which I suppose made sense. I think I was trying to stop the elevator on the last uh, video, but I really couldn't do it. You're supposed to have like a whole bunch of books on you, probably including the the what you might call it, the carnivorism book or the black page book as well. I feel like you had to have that one too as well. I think you would be able to actually print out the ticket. Need something. I wonder what will happen to the copy sh coffee shop. I got the design for the invitation for the carnivore. Event. Managed to get an original design for my tickets. Make the photocopies for me, would you? Right away, but you've got money, right? I don't have any money. At the moment. Well, without money, I can't do anything for you. Sorry, but don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. When you've got some money, come back and I'll make photocopies for you. Okay. I figured I needed money. Um, I'm gonna go see if my mom's have anything, and then maybe see if the fat cat drawing has already happened, which it probably hasn't. But we'll see right now. Um, I was just wondering if maybe, um, I don't know if you could let it slip by, or if there was like a something else that maybe I could have done. I didn't think he was gonna really ask for money, but whatever. Right, I feel like a lot of these point-and-click games are a bit um, sociopathic in that you try to convince people to see uh, shit your way, which is, I think, what some sociopaths actually do. It's really fat. We're gonna find five again. We're gonna walk away. Just for... let's leave it. Want to know if I want all the drama? Yeah, yeah. Draw some winning tickets. I like to use it. Protect my limited sign. The left one with the red lights. Oh man. <clears throat> well, let's see if, like I said, my mom says any. I don't know if maybe I should have just gone to Sandro to teleport me back, which probably would have been faster. Or if <clears throat> running all the way back is faster, I probably would have to time it. But at this point, it seems like maybe. Talking to Sandra would have been easier. Damn. Hey, there's this lady with the loaf of bread. Seem to have changed. Exhausted all possible music combinations. So, wait. All right, I can't really do anything. So, where do I even get that? Was it? That was my pig sheep money box. So, where do I get money right now then? Hmm. Should I go talk to Sandro to see what he says? When the customer's back, why trust me? So I have lots of money. So the contract will be back full of good fresh meat before. Thank you, Agatha. You're my favorite daughter. Do I have any siblings? No. Ah. Hmm. Maybe if I talk to the lady? Still meet 199. Well, this guy seems to have changed. Let me see. 
Hello. Stay where you are. This is Stanley's territory. What do you want? This stuff over there must be his. Friendly. Hmm. Is that your cat? Yeah, he's my companion. Those things over there. An inflatable beta collection of videotapes and a video game console and newspaper. A Neo Genesis. Sega Genesis, probably. And it's all mine, so don't get any closer. Oh, there's a cat in his beard. I didn't even know. money in purse. I don't have any money whatsoever, right? I only have these damn lottery tickets. Copy. On every service, get a... Find this person in a copy shop and get a book bound for free. If I hand this to the person in the copy, copy shop, I can get a book bound for free. Huh. Let me see this. I feel I should have showed that to the dude in the copy shop. Um, while I was trying to get my book bound, right? I think I messed up. I feel like I messed up, but are you supposed to? But what else are you supposed to do then if you do mess up? Let's see if this lady can help me. Oh, he died. Hello, hello. She still sells scrappy burgers. Over there in the back, there's a man that died from eating hot dogs. I need to help doing carnivores. Damn. See you later, partner. Partner. Closed, okay. USTFU. What are you doing to the cops stop you? USTFU. STFUF. Got that. Okay, let me see if this works. Hello, what can I do for you? I've got a discount coupon. Let me see. Oh, if you had shown me that before. I would have found your book for free. Sorry, but I can't apply this discount now. Oh. Anyway, if at any point you need anything else, let me... Well, son of a... That guy's photocopier. Son of a man. There's a... Seems to be a photocopier over here, so... Downstairs, right? I think. Let me see. Yeah, there's one right there. So let me see something. Photocopies. The machine is locked. The photocopy is photocopier is locked. To make copies of that machine, you put the thing in the copy on the side and copies the other magic. But well, how do you unlock it? How do can I use this? Oh there we go. Now we can use it. Okay. Fuck, I would have never, like, unless 
Oh man, I would have never seen this. I was like, I saw one of, he had one of those up there and I saw one of those down here. Oh, I got loads of tickets for Sancho. Oh, thank bloody Jesus. <laughs> I think that's an actual swear thing in a country, but... Uh, well, at least I figured it out without really thinking too much, right? You don't want to give yourself a headache over thinking stuff, but I suppose that made sense now that I think about it. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Has even, like, farm music. He's got a beer joke with three X's on it. <laughs> they asked me to bring them to tickets for I need to give them to the, they won't come back to Okay, so. I'm back. Have you got the tickets for that sanctuary place? Yes. I want one. Give me, give me one. Don't worry, there's enough to go around. Can you give the tickets to all the animals at the farm? Take a soul. So we'll give them out later. Cool, thanks. So we'll be able to see the demonstration by that big pig, right? Yes, I'm going to tell him now that he can start preparing. I'm scared. Don't worry, it's going to be cool. You're like the great bleeding pig. Carnivores is going to make you the happiest animals in the world. You'll see. I hope it's like that. Anyway, we'll see you at the sanctuary later when the farmer goes to plant things in the vegetable patch. Okay, see you later private party it's a private party so I gotta I guess I gotta talk to him through Sandro or should I just drink the potion let me let me let me talk to Sandro first let's just see what he says because I don't know if I should just talk to him myself or if uh, Sandro should help the animals demonstration yeah Sandro what's up I'm convinced the farm animals to come to the sanctuary. I've convinced the farmers to come to the sanctuary. To the butchers, I mean. Fantastic. But they don't like the idea of being killed so they can be to be eaten. They're not convinced by the idea of eternal happiness yet. I understand. And what did you say to them? Uh, that at the sanctuary they'd meet the great bleeding pig and that he'd carry out a demonstration to help them believe and not to be scared anymore. A demonstration? Yes. They got all excited and wanted tickets to see the demonstration at the sanctuary sanctuary like it was a party so i made a load of tickets so they can all come perfect what i did the right thing then you did exactly what needed to be done the demonstration will go really well cool because i thought i'd mess up mess it up not at all don't worry so are the animals at the butchers already not yet they're going to escape when the farmer goes and to to sow seeds and and isn't watching okay meantime we're I'm going to look for something elegant to wear to the party. Hmm. But what are we going to do about the demonstration if the Great Bleeding Pig doesn't exist? Just I just read something in the sacred book that could solve that problem. I can't find it just now. Let me take another look. To get things started, why don't you go and look for something that you could use as a car as a carnivorist habit? Something that you could use as a carnivorist habit. What does that mean? What's that? It's it's what those who represent a religion wear. People like you, carnivorism habit. And what do I need that for? And what do I need that for? Habit is just another piece of the puzzle that will make carnivorism more believable. A habit? The habit? Like, like those robes? Like those weird things that like preachers wear? Or priests wear or whatever when you wear it the animals won't see a young butcher they'll see the person that the great bleeding pink sent to represent them because who are you a mega the knife the prophetess of carnivorism precisely cool but does that habit have to be a dress because i don't like dresses no no it could be a long jacket or a cape or a dressing gown you'd wear around the house what about an a the apron I use when I kill the animals. It should be something a bit more elegant and mysterious, don't you think? A long tunic would be better. Mm, okay, I guess. I'm going to look for something that I can use as a carnivorous habit. Wonderful. 
I'll keep reading the, what you wrote in the sacred book and with the information I find. Going to prepare kick, kick ass carnivorous parties. Word. Cool. I'll see you later, Sandro. See you soon. Uh, okay. Send me to the butchers. Let me teleport to the store, of course. Done. I said to earlier appear in the store. Okay, thanks. So maybe I could go to that dress store, right? Let's see if there's anything in the back here or anything that I could click on, but I might end up going to that dress store anyway. Hey, cool. It appears it OBS appears on the tabs now, like it's recording and stuff. Already got a butcher's knife, so I don't need to be sharpened. Well, I could just take a bucket. Okay. Can I wear the bucket? Collect blood when I'm chopping up the animals. No, I, I thought I could maybe wear the blood. I mean, the bucket. Wear the blood. Wear the bucket. Alright. Let me go to that dress store and check it out. But if I can't find anything right now, I'll probably leave it at that and then come back to, um, to this in the next video. <clears throat> Where's the party? preparing for the party let me let me go in here maybe they have something that i could wear in here no. being gone or he's snuggy i don't understand why it's inside a glass case like there's something valuable the gown from the glass case would be really useful hello i've got a question tell me how much is the dressing gown in the glass case It's not for sale, and it's not a dressing gown. Have you ever seen this Interstellar Wars movie? Star Wars, yeah, I figured. No, I don't watch TV. What about going to the cinema? Nope. I don't like those movies either, so I wouldn't I wouldn't have guessed it either. The dressing gown, as, you, as Jedi Warriors, as you call it, is a tunic worn by the Jedi Warriors. Who are goodies in the Interstellar Wars movies. In fact, that tunic was part of the wardrobe for the first film. You probably won't be impressed because you're not into this sort of thing, but before you is the only tonic of its kind in the world, that's why it's in the glass case. Right, and how did you get it? Completely by chance, the homeless guy that hangs around here here gave it to me. In exchange for a few hent and what? For a few hentai and a Adaki Makura of Misa Amani. What? I was like because I didn't think he knew what the tunic was worth. Do you know if the homeless guy has more tunics like that one? He can't have. There's only one. And I have it. <laughs> and if you find something similar, it's to be a copy or a fancy dress costume. How much are you selling it for? I told you already, it's not for sale. Not even not even for a case full of money. A tunic is priceless. Besides, what do you want it for? You don't even know the Interstellar Wars. None of your business. Hmm. Would you exchange it for something else? There is only one thing I would exchange the Jedi tunic for, but I think it would be even harder to find. I don't even know if it exists. What is it? The Enigmarillion? <laughs> what? The Enigmarillion? <laughs> the legendary book that contains all the answers to all the enigmas of cinema, comics, and video games. Video games does cops totem topple during the credits of Inception? Who would win in a fight? to the death between Commander Shepard, Marcus Phoenix, and Master Chief. What the hell does the ending of Evangelion mean? <laughs> legend? I said that the Enigmarillion has the answer to this and so many other questions. I need it. Okay, where can I find that book? If I knew that, don't, don't you think I'd gone and found it myself? Besides, like I told you, I don't even know if it really exists. So if she's a geek. I don't have anything else to ask. Okay. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, I gotta go talk to the homeless guy. And after that, I guess I'm gonna leave the video at this. I had a feeling that it might have been in there what I needed, but I was just. My name is Stanley, right? What now? <laughs> the girl from the comic shop told me you gave her a tunic. Any chance you got another one? The tunic with the hood? No, I only found one. I could use. I could use his jacket as a carnivorism. I'm looking for a jacket like the, the one you're wearing. Well, keep looking. This one's mine. That stuff over there must be his. Well, son of a... That seems really friendly. Okay. But the Im... 
I don't think there's a book of anything there. Maybe I could ask the library lady. Or maybe there's a book in there somewhere in the library where I could find it. Hmm. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, follow, like, and subscribe and all that bullshit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of your mental health, your health, and then go take care of whatever you need to take care of. Because the stress is not worth it. So, you know, one, one thing at a time, right? That's what they usually say, one thing at a time. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video for sure. Uh, take it easy, guys. Like I said, take care. And and bye, 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 bye guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. This should be it right here. Probably with the fat cat. All right, bye, bye, bye guys. Bye, 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 bye.